Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Your week's off to a good start. And uh, I hadn't asked you to do this lately, but um, we'll like and share the post. And if I don't ask you uh, tomorrow, do it again. And uh, again, that just helps uh, help spread the word. And uh, then we will be starting the 131st Psalm this morning, Psalm 131. And uh, David uh, writing here in this uh, small uh, psalm, and his desire uh, is for um, peace with God, is for satisfaction um, from God, and um, yeah, I think that sums it up. He just really is looking to enrich and to deepen uh, his walk uh, with the Lord. And we don't know, uh, again, uh, what we, any of the circumstances of when he uh, wrote the psalm, and there's really nothing um, in these three verses that give us much of, a, of an indication uh, of any particular event uh, in David's uh, life, um, John Phillips uh, believes that it was written early uh, when David was a young adult uh, and just beginning to um, rise to uh, fame and notoriety. Uh, but again, it's uh, a psalm that um, was, uh, again, just describing David's um his desire to, uh, even as he be became uh, more famous and well-known, um, rose in power and uh, those kind of things, that he wanted to stay grounded, uh, wanted to, uh, to be sure that it didn't affect uh, his walk with the Lord. And a uh, great prayer for us, great example that... Um, while maybe we're not like David, maybe we're not headed to to the throne, uh, but um, that as we go through life and our circumstances change and uh, situations come in our life, that uh, that we wouldn't allow those things to um, to distract us uh, and to get us off course uh, from um, uh, serving God. And I feel uh, a little bit overwhelmed uh, with this psalm. Uh, again, it's only three verses. Um, it is a very brief psalm. Uh, but the, the lessons, uh, the, what's being taught here uh, is uh, of great uh, depth and importance. Uh, Spurgeon uh, commenting on uh, these three verses uh, said that it's one of the shortest psalms to read, but one of the longest to learn. And so uh, it's a little bit um, of an overwhelming um, uh, task to, to endeavor to uh, compromise this, uh, to, uh, to comprehend and to explain uh, this psalm. Um, it is very possible, again, for a person to uh, to memorize these three verses. Uh, they're not very long, uh, and I would um, say that's a, a good, uh, maybe a good practice, a good thing to do, is to uh, memorize and, and routinely repeat uh, the words uh, to this psalm as we seek to, uh, again, to stay on track and to uh, continue uh, our relationship uh, with God. And so let's start on it. Here we'll look uh, in this first verse uh, where the David writes, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high uh, for me. Uh, and so as David, um, as he as he's aging, and he is again uh moving and growing and um, and his life is changing. He's uh, finding more responsibility, more notoriety, uh, those kinds of things. He humbles himself uh, before God. 
Um, he has been chosen. God has already chosen him uh, to be uh, the king. And uh, again, he says uh, in that, I, I want to uh, be sure and keep my desires and my sinful nature uh, in check and be obedient uh, to you. And again, I, I think the lesson is obvious. We may not be uh, headed to the throne. Uh, we may have not been chosen to be king, uh, but certainly we face distractions in our life. Uh, that uh, can draw us away from our walk with the Lord uh, and even cause us arrogance or, um, um, or, or sin in our life. And David uh, is looking into his uh, own life and desiring to not be haughty or proud uh, that uh, these words would, uh, again, would uh, keep him, that he would stay uh, humble, stay on track, uh, to serve the Lord. And, and um, if you look at these words again, this is a prayer. Uh, he says to the Lord, my heart is not haughty or, or my eyes lofty. Uh, I'm, not, um, I'm not arrogant. I'm not proud. There's no rebellion in my heart. Uh, right now, I am in full uh, submission to you. And he said, you know, right now, I feel like I'm where I need to be. I feel like I'm the person uh, that you want me to be, uh, and I, I want to stay there. I want to continue uh, to to serve you. Uh, I don't exercise myself in great manners. Uh, I'm not, you know, again, my ambition, my pride uh, is not uh, an issue. And again, David is not being proud in saying that. Uh, I think David, again, is recognizing where he is, and knows that um, that the course of his life, he, again, where he is going in his life, uh, the possibility is there uh, that he's going to get drawn uh, off course, get drawn away from God. Uh, and so he's submitting himself and humbling himself to God uh, and saying, Lord, keep me here. Uh, keep me in the right place. Uh, keep me where I need to be. Uh, and uh, again, a great lesson for us uh, that um, no matter, again, we may not be headed like David to the throne, uh, but um, our life certainly brings opportunity uh, if we're not cautious for us to be arrogant, for us to be proud, uh, for us to, as the old saying goes, to get above our raising. Uh, and David is just simply praying, Lord, uh, keep me where I need to be. Uh, keep me in the right relationship uh, with you. Great lesson for us today. Uh, that uh, is a good reminder. Uh, and again, I hope it'll be uh, a reminder for you. And I uh, hope you'll uh, maybe consider memorizing again this short psalm and keep this prayer uh, in your in your thoughts. That Lord, uh, keep me where I need to be. Keep me humble. Keep me in the right relationship with you. Uh, and pray that prayer. Uh, every day. Have a good day. Have a good week. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.